Could you talk about the asteroid that um, killed the dinosaurs? That was creepy on the first episode. Yeah. I, I didn't know this either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I asteroid. know about the asteroid, obviously, but. But this, it's the si- a little bit bigger than the size of Mount Everest, and it slammed into Earth, you know, 65, mm-hmm. 66 million years ago. And our mammal ancestors were running underfoot, trying to avoid being hors d'oeuvres for T-Rex. And there we would have stayed. Right. Had this asteroid not struck, no, but the reason- so, so it's a taker away and bringer of life because it renders that astro- the the dinosaurs wow. extinct as well as seventy percent of all species of life on Earth, and then the 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 uh, the early mammals, it opened up an ecological niche so they can evolve to something more ambitious than tree shrews. But the actual asteroid, didn't you say someone how it, it bounced off another asteroid? Oh, and that's yeah, the yeah. reason so, this happened? So there's a lot of dynamics. It's a, it's a shooting know. gallery out there, and you have these asteroids, big ones, medium ones, small ones, and some come a little near one versus another. They each have gravity. If you come a little close to me, I'm going to nudge you with my... I don't have to touch you to nudge you, because there's this force at a distance called gravity, and stunning that it exists across the vacuum of space. Think about that. This troubled Isaac Newton. How could one thing affect another and there's nothing between them? What's mm. going on? There's no there's no rope, there is no tether, there is no hook. How did so it was a, a huge mystery to him until I uh, till um, Einstein basically figured this out and said the gravity is not really a force, it is the curvature of the fabric of space and time. If you if you know NASCAR. People say oh, NASCAR drivers always turn left, right. right? They don't know how to turn right because that's the direction of the track. However, the tracks are banked. So that if you drive on, an, on a NASCAR track and you drive at the speed for which the bank is angled, you never have to turn the wheel. Right. Wow. You just yeah. stay driving forward and the track turns you wow. all by itself. So too is the curvature in the fabric of space and time. It will curve you even though you think you're going in a straight line. The car thinks it's going in a straight line because you didn't turn the steering wheel. So the only time they turn the steering wheel is to maneuver among the cars. If they're going the right speed, they're not actually turning left to complete the circle. So, so you have a planet with mass that affects space. Yeah, the fabric and of space. The fabric of space. So in essence, the, the force of gravity isn't really a force. You're almost going down a hill. You're surfing a hill. To the, a slope. the, the, the mass. Brilliant. That's, uh, He's got it. He's got it. And so, quite and so I'm glad right. I said that earlier. <laughs> so, so brilliant. Thank you for, for clarifying. You said it in fewer words than I than I did. Sure. So, so, so what happens is you have an asteroid mining its own business that might not have otherwise been on a collision course with Earth. And they think that. And then another asteroid mm. comes by it and it gets nudged. It doesn't nudge by the force of gravity into a trajectory. That sixty-five million years ago collided with Earth. And they think this is what... this is the extreme contingency of life on Earth. And they think this is what happened. Where did it glide? Do they know where? Oh yeah, yeah. We found we found the spot. And by the way, the Yucatan Peninsula. The the Yucatan Peninsula, what is now Mexico. Coco, really? You know what's cool? I got to tell you this. I was I described this to a whole room of people that, and I tried to be funny, and I said uh, this asteroid struck at the at the Yucatan Peninsula. Of what is now Mexico, of what it, Mexico, and I said, although that's not what the dinosaurs called it back then. I thought I was being cute, oh, right? Boy. And someone in the front row said, "No, they called it Mexico." <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's cracking himself up. No, it was good. I thought that was good. The dinosaurs like spoke Spanish and uh, pronounced it right. Um, it, it doesn't it seem so, so, but, so right there, what they found, and by the way, this was with the help of oil drillers, people who look for anomalies in the mm-hmm. crust of the earth to see where there might be repositories of oil. In so doing, they found a ridge line. That was like what, 150 miles in circumference, and this ridge line they tracked it around and it completed an entire circle. Mm. And they and we go down there and get a, and date the, the 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 rocks 65 million years ago. Wow! So we say yes. There's the smoking gun, the crater left over from the asteroid that struck. So my point is, it's pure luck we're here because mm. that asteroid just had a little bump or whatever. Correct. And if so, what would happen is, if the asteroid didn't hit. Dinosaurs would surely still be here, to this and day. we wouldn't. Oh yeah, because they were around. You want to mine? Mm. 
Mine. Yeah, you could say the F word. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't want to, but it was fun watching him realize yeah, he yeah. backed himself in. Uh, no, that was a moment. There's been a couple of times where I thought shit was going to come on. Motherfucker yeah, was going to yeah, come yeah. on. No, okay. You tell me whether it's worth You tell me whether this earns it, okay? Yeah. So, uh, if you look at the tenure that dinosaurs enjoyed on Earth, they were around for 200 million years mm. before the asteroid struck. And it's only been 65 million years since. Mm, wow. So given that fact, there is no reason to presume that they wouldn't still be here. They wouldn't be here. They were just unlucky. They didn't have a space program to deflect the asteroid. So it is likely that if the asteroid did not strike, they would still be here and we wouldn't. Now, maybe would they something. have technology? Would they be in this booth mm. uh, doing a radio show? Yeah. And, and they have more the listeners. Case, they, <laughs> <laughs> they would say something like, aren't we lucky that that asteroid didn't strike? But wait, you know when... Whereas you're saying, aren't we lucky that it did? Sure.